Hey guys, welcome back to this modded Minecraft series, survival series, and we're on episode 2 now, this is really exciting, and I have a lot of things planned for this episode, we're gonna maybe try to explore the surrounding areas, like this village over here, uh, get some villagers going, I also found some new villager uh i went to it i found a desert village i actually went to it and inside the village i found this oceanography table and gardening table which are in the more villagers mod which i think is gonna be really cool to figure that out and uh also we're planning on building a storage building this episode because uh my storage is not going too well right now uh see this chest is completely full and this chest in here in my dock has is also full. These are also some of the fishes I was able to get off camera. I got an arrow turtle, brown trout, smallmouth bass, perch, bluegill, and gar. I also found this fish bones, and I'm pretty sure you can turn these into bone meal. But I might actually want to keep this so I can put it on display just for fun. And I also got our nautilus shell. There's also a blacksmith at the village, so I got some obsidian and iron helmet. And everything here for the tackle box, we can make that right now. So let's grab everything here and let's go ahead and make this tackle box. Boom. See, let's place this here at the end of the dock and we can use it when we're fishing. So check this out. I can actually put my fishing rod in here, add hooks, bait, fishing lines, bobbers. And the fishing line of bobbers are completely customizable. You can choose the color and everything. It's really cool so yeah but uh i'm gonna leave this here for now and we'll deal with that later we're also going to get into making some worms for our uh this is for yeah we're going to make some worms for our uh, uh fishing bait so the crafting recipe is pretty easily we can go ahead and make this now and see how it goes all right yeah let's make this right now so Dirt, three planks, and uh, four fences. All right, I'll be right back. So guys, I'm right back, and we got our worm farm up right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and place this down right here. And I think this works just like a composter, so if we grab some, uh, grab some, I don't even know what you put in a composter, to be completely honest, I've never used one in my life. I think it's seeds, though seeds something like that whoa okay I just placed a bunch of seeds in and when I ran out of seeds I just put it in my open hand and took some worms out all right well that's pretty easy actually yeah I also uh, while I was um uh, off camera I was able I made this little wheat farm and also made a little sheep farm with Fences. There's not many, not that many sheep in it yet, and I'm gonna try to make a cow farm. But this cow is a lone cow. It's the only cow I've been able to find. So I regret killing those cows in the forest that spawn. But maybe I assume there'll be some cows at this village over here, so we can bring those back as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these worms in the tackle box because they can stay in here. That's really cool, and. Another thing I'm planning for this episode is we're gonna have a we're gonna build an enchanting setup, maybe a building to go with it, and hopefully, once we get our cow farm going and everything, we'll have the uh, full level 30 enchanting all set up and ready. But I can't guarantee that you that for this video. But uh, we're definitely gonna get full diamond armor this video. That's the goal. Gonna make a a little temporary mine go dig at uh, our way underground and strip mine for some diamonds just so we can grind up to get that easy full diamond armor and yeah let's head over to that village okay we have made it to the village and I'm gonna explore this village with you guys so you can be able to see some of the mods and also even just resource packs I added to make the villagers walk uh, more 
more realistically. But I also did find some cows right here, as you can see, so I'm going to take this back on my way home. And uh, let's explore this village together. So uh, I need to get in this house. Oh, a saddle. That's going to be really useful. Okay, actually, I might take this acacia sapling, just because. And let's grab these melons, just why not? I already have so many melons. I have two and a half stacks in my inventory. Grab all these hay bales too, because we can use those for trading with the... We can steal from the villagers and trade what we stole with them. So that's easy M's. All right. There's so many melons in this fish. Okay, here's one of the cool mods I added, which actually has guard villagers. So they uh, work, and there's name tags on all the villagers as well. But uh, The guard villagers actually protect the village, so iron golems aren't as important. Okay, this is the oceanography table that I found before. That's what I was talking about. Actually, I don't need paper. Paper's useless. Yeah, but um, this is the table I found before, and I have it in my inventory right now. I brought it over. I'm just actually going to leave this in this house here so they can stay together. And uh, how should I mark? I probably should mark this house so I know this is the oceanography table house. So I'll put some cobblestone here just so I can mark it. And of course I gotta collect all these, I also made a iron hoe in preparation to collect all these hay bales. See look, these uh, villagers actually carry crossbows too. So, that's uh, so unfortunately the new animations don't actually work for the modded villagers. But that's fine by me, it doesn't really matter to me, but let me know in the comments if you care about the animations not working on the villagers and it's different for the normal villagers, the modern villagers, their animations don't work, but as you can see, these villagers, their faces are a little animated, and they walk like normal people, so it's pretty cool. So actually, these villagers is a really easy way to get um, chainmail armor uh, early game, So, but it doesn't really matter because I'm already past that super early stage. Ooh, we got some bread in here, I'll take that. Nothing special in there. And check this out guys, I wanna show you something pretty cool. Once it turns to night, I have a sleeping bag from the Comfort Smod or, yeah, I think it's called Comfort Cozy, Cozy something. I don't know, I think, yeah, let me just scroll to it. Uh, here it is. Comforts, yeah, it is called Comforts. And you can just sleep anywhere you want and it doesn't reset your spawn points so you can just get through the night really easily and that's really a good feature to add to your world okay what is this this looks really interesting forestry bench more villagers mod i'm actually going to leave this here and i'm going to put down the gardening table in this building too because it's kind of a gardening themed or planty themed building so I think they can work together. Oh, Blast Furnace. Won't mind if I take that. Hmm. Alright, let's check out this nothing in here. Oh, there's another oceanography table. Alright, some more hay bales. That's nice. How much hay bales do I have now? I almost have a stack of hay bales, including these hay bales and the last hay bales from the other village I looted. I think we're almost about done looting this village, so... Oh, there's one more chest with one piece of leather. Fabulous. And again, these orange trees... I don't know if there's anything special about them, I think it's just an interesting color leaf. That's the only difference. It looks like an oak tree to me. But either way, this village is uh, ready to be turned into a domesticated breeding chamber. So, uh, I mean, I'll set up a couple things, get some villagers organized and stuff, and then I'll be back when I'm finished. Okay guys, after a sufficient amount of rowing villagers abound boats and building this small little building, and a couple other things I managed to straight up with the farmer villager with all the hay bales I got and I have 
gotten 36 emeralds and I also built this little build hut and I hopefully still have my two villagers in here yep ready to be breeded up and then I'll breed them up in here and get some workstations going along this wall and then I'll have a little villager station in here but for now I don't have enough emeralds or resources to get that started so I will get some more emeralds and resources off camera come back here and get some librarian villagers going on with Prot4 and all that when I can so for now uh, let's head back to the village bring our cows back build a little cow pen and then we'll I actually have a uh, desert temple I want to go explore so we'll go to explore that desert temple and then we'll get on mining all right I'll see you in a bit okay guys I got both my cows here at my base now so we're ready to get them all in a pen breeding up and uh, so let's get that little pen built right near that sheep farm over there and uh, yeah Okay, we're bringing the cows over and look at that animation. Alright, so we're going to bring the cows into this pen and then we're going to close it up. Right beside the sheep here. Okay, let's close this up and there we go. Our cows are now in a pen and we can now start making, breathing them out. Oh, I forgot in this mod pack you can actually just right click and the crops don't even break they just come off and they're automatically replanted it's amazing so now we can um, breed up our cows with this weed I just got start getting the cows breeded up so we can get some leather to make our fully full enchanting uh, set up later on this episode also while we're at it we just got 55 seeds so let's go ahead and throw some stuff in this worm bin and see what we can get okay that's a lot of worms seven worms wow and let's empty this how much worms did I get? 12 more worms. Yo, I see a worm in here. I don't know how a worm got there. But there's a worm there. And let's get a couple more worms because we got a couple seeds left. 17 worms total. I'm going to go throw those in my tackle box. Boom. Now, trust me, later on in this episode, I will be um, making sure that I start putting uh, all the bait and fishing line and all the bobbers and stuff, customizing my fishing rod and all that to make it super, super good and get more fish and stuff. So we'll do that later on this episode, but for now, I'll meet you at the Desert Temple. Okay guys, we have arrived at the Desert Temple and uh, there's a lot of frogs here. Interesting. Well, either way, the wild update uh, mod is, I don't know if it's completely accurate or whatever, because yeah, there's frogs in a desert, but either way, let's grab a quick sleep in our sleeping bag and loot this desert temple. And look at those villagers over there. Wow, look at those animations, pretty good. All right, let's loot this desert temple. I hope there's no added anything in here, like difficult or any anything more difficult from the mods or anything. But... Oh, the spider animations are pretty good, eh? And here's my marker from where I saw it in the distance earlier. Okay, let's dig down into this desert temple. Go all the way down see if we can find anything like a notch apple or something good. Channeling? 
Okay, I'll check out this texture pack. It's pretty sick, eh? Uh, I'll take some gunpowder, actually. Nice. I don't need that, though. More gunpowder. String, bones, some sand. I don't need sand. Emeralds, gunpowder, a golden apple, saddle. Sandstone is pretty useless. Uh, gold ingots, are they worth it? Is there anything I can get rid of this flower? Another saddle. Wow, these desert temples really have a lot of saddles, right? And I'll take all this TNT down here as well, because why not? I could use it for getting some netherite. Actually, I just realized I probably will not be getting netherite this series, because I'm going for uh, Neptunium armor, which is part of the fishing mod that I'm playing with. And you can get Neptunium armor from fishing and getting Neptunian bounties, which are very rare, but you can get them. And I'll get one at some point, I'll grind if I have to, but you need better fishing rods to be able to get it, so. Once we get that, those that armor is definitely as good, if not, def probably, well the tools are definitely better than netherite, but I don't know if the armor is. Either way, we're gonna get some of that. Some Neptunes. Some Neptunes. Here, I'll show you right now. This is what it looks like. Neptune helmet, Neptune chestplate, Neptune leggings, Neptune boots. Those are some pretty cool sprites. And I think if we go back one, we can see the tools. Eight attack damage on the pickaxe. Are you kidding me? 15 attack damage Neptunium axe. That is absolutely broken. And just so I can compare that, my steel axe has 9 attack damage. This has 15 attack damage. That is absolutely stupid. What is the attack speed? 1 attack speed. It even has better attack speed than my steel axe. Wow. <laughs> then the hoe. How much damage does the hoe do? 4 attack damage. That is stupid. The sword. 10 attack damage. 1.6 attack speed. Wow. 10 attack damage. That's more than my steel axe, and it's an axe. Bro. Okay, either way, we're gonna be getting that as soon as we can. Uh, which probably won't be till a later episode, to be honest. But for now, let's head back to base and set up a little quick mine, get some diamonds, and uh, breed up the cows quickly. And then once we have, then I'll go mining and make some diamond armor. Alright, see you in a bit. Okay, we've arrived back at base. And uh, I'm going to breed up the cows. Do I got any wheat on me? Alright, let's empty my inventory first. Even though I literally have no room left in any of my chests. You know what? I'm just going to make a new chest. But I have to get some wood first. Alright. Let's put down this other chest. Right here beside our crafting table. Alright. Let's breed up the cows. Need to breed these. Oh, are they not breedable yet? It's because the chunk wasn't loaded. Alright, that's too bad. We'll have to breed them up as soon as we can. For now, I guess we can breed up the sheep, but... We can only do what we can do. Oh, I just jumped on my crop. Bruh. Okay. Let's breed up the sheep. Why isn't it breeding? That is... Okay, that's kind of sus, bruh. Can I not breed my sheep? Okay, I guess they just... I guess I breeded them before. I can't remember what I did. Wait, the, oh yeah, there's baby sheep there, so I definitely did breed them before. Yeah, so... 
probably not refreshed yet, so we'll have to let that cool down a bit. But for now, in the meantime, let's get mining. Why not just right here? And we'll dig all the way down and then start mining for diamonds. Okay, we've reached the um, diamond mining level negative 54. I think that's the right level. I'll double check the course because I don't want to get anyone angry, but look how, oh, what the heck is going on there? Look at how high up the surface is. That is crazy. Either way, before we start this story far before we blah bruh. Either way, before we start this um, mining, let's get a ladder going all the way up to the top first. Here we go. We're almost there and we have reached the top of the ladder. Alright, let's empty some out of, out of some of our inventory so that we have some space to, um, also we should get another water bucket just so we can be safe if there's lava. So, um, let's empty out our inventory, uh, get rid of anything that I don't really need, stone bullet arrows, I'll keep the golden apple. Boat, not really necessary. Uh, I'll keep the extra melons just because. Don't really need shears, hoe, fillet knife. But I will actually take some iron just in case I my diamond pickaxe runs out before I get diamonds, which is the worst case scenario, but I'm not coming up without enough diamonds for full diamond armor, so I'm going to be down there a while, so I might as well take some iron ingots as well. Hopefully I'll have enough diamonds to make another diamond pickaxe by then. Oh, gotta bring wood. That is important too. Never go mining without wood. It's the crafting necessity for everything. Alright, let's go down into the mines and start mining for diamonds. Yeah, so I looked it up. It's actually negative 57, I think. I don't really care that much. It's my loss, really. But I think negative 57 is the best. So I just put a little staircase down. We'll change the ladder later, but for now, I just put a little staircase down. And now we can start mining. Let's go. Oh my god. That felt like a really long time. Not that bad though, we found our first diamonds before our diamond pick broke, and it's one. You gotta be kidding me right now, bro. You gotta be kidding me right now. Oh, that is so bad, bro. One diamond. Sorry, that's kinda cringe, I probably should be using the notes, it's kinda cringe. My bad. Alright. Let's get back to mining. Oh. Well, I guess the diamond spawned by lava myth is true. I guess it's not a myth. Probably not a myth then. Oh, there's a cave. Oh, and more lava. Let's go. Oh my god. Bro. Oh, what? Are you... I guess it wasn't one diamond, but there's lava, so I'm gonna make sure I get these diamonds without them burning, because if I don't, that'd be not too... Here, let me try to get this platform up here. Okay. I guess it wasn't one diamond. Let's go, three diamonds. That's enough for almost one piece of armor. Okay. okay, this cave is really, really bad. Oh, never mind, there's some more of it. 
Might as well take this gold while I'm here. There's nothing here. Oh. Yo, diamonds, let's go. Just one diamond. Beautiful. I mean, I dig these. First Amethyst Geode of the game. I mean... I'll take this. Might as well. Well, at least it's pretty close to my, um... Tunnel. Pretty good. Coin. Okay. Oh my god, bro. Why does that creeper walk so sussily? Alright, actually, you know what? I'm gonna take a couple obby while I'm here. Might as well. Alright, I feel like there's no point in wasting my time getting too much obby right now because I will have a efficiency something pickaxe at some point. So, I don't think that'll be a concern. But I just need to find where the frick I was tunneling. Bruh. Okay, here it is. And, uh, should we continue in. No, let's. I kind of want to continue in this direction. But. Let's head back and turn right into the. Or turn left. See where on the mini map on the top right, there's like a bunch of red dots. That's hostile mobs. So I'm gonna dig to the right and see if I can get a cave over there and get some diamonds from that. Okay, I hear it, bro. It's definitely, like, so close. No way, it's not above me, bro. It is above me. Let's go. Okay, we're building up here, boys. We're building up here. Water buttski? Water buttski? Let's go. Bro, I'm so bad at this. What am I doing? Okay, let's build a little pillar here, boys, so we know where our thing is. Already found diamonds. Let's go. That was a clean MLG. Leave me alone, skeleton. I don't care. Bruh. I don't have a shield. I haven't done. Oh my god, the baby zombie. Yo, that was so sketchy in this. I'm, I'm gappling, boys. Well, that was a lot of lag. You know what, boys? Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to turn off the better animations because holy crap. That was so much lag that I literally couldn't fight. And you guys can't even, I'm not even like one of those dumb people that like say I'm lagging when I'm not lagging. I'm just like, my frames drop to 50 FPS or something. That's not what happened. My screen, screen straight up froze and then there was a creeper in my face. I was just trying to dig into a wall and heal up. Oh wait, the grave mod did have... Um that, that grave mod did make the graves like that. That's interesting. Okay, why is this zombie not... Bro, what is that health, bro? You're actually joking me. 
yo, chill, that's lag, bro, that's lag, that's lag. Yo, chill, 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 that's lag, that's lag. Woo! Okay, what is this? What is this? I don't know what that is, but I'm leaving it. Just in case I need it. Oh, yo, yo. That's a lot of diamonds, bro. That's a lot of diamonds. Oh my god, that's a lot of diamonds. Yo, that's not that bad, not that bad. I'm just gonna strip mine this time. Alright, let's mine this way, boys. And we're just gonna keep going. We're not gonna go into any caves. No, we are. I'm lying. We probably are, but we're gonna keep going, finding some diamonds. Oh my god, <laughs> dude, let's freaking go, no way, I literally mind like, one, two, three, four, five, five blocks to the freaking left, bro, or freaking right, and I got diamonds already, no way, bro, that's actually freaking crazy, let's go, 12 diamonds? for not even a whole diamond pick, that is worth, that is worth. I don't care if I'm wasting my time because I don't have fortune, that's worth, that's worth. Redstone, let's go boys, redstone's cracked. Redstone is good. How much redstone? <gasps> no, bro. Dude, are you actually joking me? Okay guys, I'm not, I'm not hacking, look. I mined straight. I literally mined straight. And I found diamonds. Again. That is so good. What? I guess I guess mining at negative 57 is the way. I guess mining at negative 57. Frame drop? Frame drop? I guess mining at negative 57 is the way. <laughs> you know what I just thought of? Box. All right. I was just making sure. Wait a second. Can you like, dude? What if the shulk, the tackle box is like a shulker box where you can carry stuff around, like, and it makes your inventory bigger? I just thought of that. I don't think it is, but like. What is that? What is... Do you see what I'm seeing, boys? That skeleton is massive. No way that was default. No way that skeleton was default. I swear that skeleton looked massive. For the, for the deep slate, for the deep slate, boys. That skeleton was actually mad. You know what I just thought of, boys? I know this is kind of like cheap, but I might just like cap it out when my time and pick breaks uh, and go to the surface. So I might, I might. Think about this academically. If I mine in this direction, I already found two diamond veins, so it's unlikely that I'll find more. And this is in the same lateral whatever. So smartly, if I go in the or academically, if I go in the other direction this way, I will find diamonds. This is not hacks, this is just skill. Here, watch this, I'll find them. Trust. It was too good. I know I know how this game works. No, dude. How much is that? Like 20 blocks? 20 blocks? And I found diamonds. I'm actually so smart. This is so stupid. I'm so smart. And because I'm so smart, I know my diamond pickaxe is going to break before I get any more diamonds. So, I'm 
might as well just go back. That's my prediction. It's more likely that my diamond pickaxe, based on statistic or like, based on like logical reasoning, it's more likely that my diamond pick will break before I get more diamonds because I've already found so many so luckily. It is more likely that my diamond pick will break before I get more diamonds than it won't break. So logically, going back to the surface and giving up is the best solution. Okay guys, we finished our mining trip. Let's go. We were not as successful as I was hoping, but it's a lot more work than I thought to mine with a unenchanted diamond pickaxe on deep slate. We went into a little bit of trouble on the way with our death and everything, but we collected a decent amount of resources and I'll take it. I'll take what we can get and we'll craft up some tools and stuff. Let's empty our inventory. Holy crap, this is so much stuff. Oh my god. So 15 diamonds plus the other two. Yeah, alright. So um actually let's harvest some sugarcane here. And uh make ourselves a enchanting table. Watch this. Paper. Leather. And oh, that was not what I meant to do. Two books. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I, I, I got obby too. Yeah, I got some obby. Let's go. And I'm pretty sure we can just do this. Oh, I need one more obby, don't I? Yes, I do. Okay. Boom. Bam. Bap. Bap. Boom. Pow. All right. We got our first enchanting table of the series. This is quick progression only on episode two. And we're getting our first diamond chest plate of the series. Let's go. Cover me with diamonds. Let's go. We're slapping that bad boy on right away. And this diamond pickaxe isn't looking too good. So um, I'm going to make a new one. And yeah, I'll make a new one and I'll make an axe and a shovel. Yeah, that sounds pretty solid. Wait, yeah. Axe and shovel. All right, bro, we got like basically full diamond tools plus another extra. And that iron chest plate is dog water now, let's go. Okay. So let's go, boys. We have iron armor, diamond chest plate, a bunch of diamond tools. Honestly, that uh, even though I didn't get as much as I wanted from that mining trip, I'm still happy with it because oh, at least I got something, and I feel proud that I was able to fight through it, get go mining, get some stuff, and now I have a diamond chest plate. That's sick. Unfortunately, we only have 12 levels because we died. So either way, we will not be able to do any level 30 enchanting next episode. So off camera, I'll probably... Off camera, I will probably grind some cow breeding up. Get some bookshelves and stuff so we can get our level 30 enchanting. And then next episode, I'll grind some levels too off camera, get some like levels just from mining and killing animals and stuff or whatever. Just like whatever, I don't even know. And then um, by the ne by next episode I will have um, enough levels and enough bookshelves to get a level 30 enchant and we'll try to get fortune. And then probably I'll go mining again with my fortune 3. And efficiency five or efficiency four if I have it and get full diamond armor but for now this is what I have and now we're gonna get our enchantment set up everything ready to go for we're gonna set up this little enchanting thing and then we're gonna build a temporary storage system it's not gonna be super crazy it's just gonna be temporary and so I can use it before I build a bigger base but I'm getting a lot of stuff, so we'll do that, and then we'll do some fishing with our new tackle blocks. Let's go. 
Alright, I just, just finished the layout for this enchanting setup and I have used the oak posts from the cork mod, which I think look really cool. And the, just some oak slabs on top. Pretty simple, pretty not too um, crazy, but I think it's all I need just for a little enchanting setup, so. Yeah, alright, well, let's hop into making the storage house. Alright. Okay, guys, we finished our storage building, and I'm gonna give you a quick tour. So, I built this little pathway up to it, got some bushes on the sides. I used some gravel and coarse dirt along with some fence posts to make a nice little pathway up to the house. When I get rid of all these chests and furnaces here, I'll connect it to the fishing dock. And inside this house we got um, a couple chests in here just for now. We don't need that many chests yet. And uh, I was waiting to be able to so I can kill this guy. Mahila. Mahilia. I can't even pronounce that. Yeah, he had pretty crap trades. He's selling like glowstone for three emeralds. That's about it. That's like the only useful thing he was selling. Alright, but now we're going to get into some fishing. So, that's pretty exciting. So first of all, i got to make sure I have enough. Okay, I'm going to grab all my iron. And I'm pretty sure I need to make some iron nuggets first. Make a hook. How do I make the hook? Here, let me see. Hook. Okay. Iron hook. I'm pretty sure there's a double hook. Double hook. So I'm pretty sure what the double hook does is it makes it so you catch double as many fish. So I'm gonna try that just so I don't have to have as use as much time. All right. Let's do two hooks. Okay, I forget how to make this. Okay, we got two hooks. Let's make the double hook. Nice. And uh, we already have bait, but there's also fishing line. I have to make some fishing line and also a bobber. Fishing line, fishing line. Okay, I need four string. Let me go get four string from over here. And the cool thing about your fishing line is you can actually customize the color of your fishing line. So, do we have anything we can use? Corn flour. Here, let's see. Let's see if we can get a blue blue fishing line. That'll be pretty cool. There you go. Blue fishing line. And now we have to get a bobber. Bobber, uh, I don't know. Here, let me look. For let me just try to find aquaculture to aquaculture to Nautilus shell. I have one of those. I have a Nautilus shell. Let's go. Where is it? Right here. Okay, we can make a bobber. Here it is. Bobber. Oh, we need two pieces of clay. That'll be so easy. I can literally just go grab this right now. There's a little thing in clay right down here. Let me grab this. There we go. So later on, we might actually be using a lot of clay in this river so we can treat it with a uh, stonemason villager to get lots of lots of uh, clay so we can trade with the, or lots of emeralds, okay, because we can trade the clay to the stonemason. Alright, there we go, we got our bobber and we'll see what color we should dye this. Can we dye, you know, we have to have cactus green for that. We got our green dye, so let's dye this bobber green. So we got a blue fishing line and a green bobber and a double hook. And now let's look at the different type of fishing rods we can make. Okay, we got Neptunian fishing rod, which we have not even close to getting that. Diamond fishing rod, unfortunately I used all my diamonds, but that's okay. Gold fishing rod and iron fishing rod. I don't know which one's better, but I'm just gonna make an iron fishing rod just because it looks pretty easy to make. So, 
I think it's about the same either way, but now that we got, here, I need to get some string, but now that we got all the bait and everything, it's gonna be a lot, a lot easier to catch fish. I did a little bit of worm farming after building the house, so we have plenty of worms for fishing. Okay, we got our iron fishing rod and this golden fishing rod's gonna go down the drain soon. All right, so here we go. Let's customize our fishing rod. Tackle box, we can put the hook, the bait, the fishing line, and the green bobber. And I'm pretty sure if we take it out, it's fully customized, so we can test this out. Yep, we got the blue line and the green bobber, and you can even see the texture on the hook is a double hook. So let's see if what this double hook does and see if we can catch double fish. I wonder what the, I don't know actually what the bait does. I don't know if you lose it every time either. Oh, what is this? A box. Received. I have no clue what I just got. Oh, a piece of leather, I think. I, th I think I got a piece of leather. All right, check out this white sleeping bag. I can just sleep, oh, I can just sleep right here. I don't have to go to my bed, so it's really, really convenient. Very highly recommend this mod. It's very easy to break too. I'm pretty sure, wait, I'm pretty sure you can insta-break it with shears. No, you can't. That's, that's a myth. All right, um, so do we, the question is, wow, this worm has durability? Are you kidding me? This worm lasts forever. That's crazy. All right, let's see what else we can catch. All right, guys, so overall, this is everything we've caught and uh, pretty much all we've caught. So I'm gonna store this all up and then we're gonna head over to the desert and see what we can catch over there. So let's see what we can catch here. I wonder what those fish are. Definitely different from what I saw in my little river on my fishing dock. Okay guys, my inventory is full and I got 11 cod, two puffer fish, water bottle, five bull tea, seven synodontis, five bayad, bluegills, uh, raw salmon, a driftwood, a bull, and a brown trout, and also leather boots, and a saddle. So not too much, too crazy, but uh, it's kind of cool. I caught some new fish that I hadn't caught before from the desert, which is what I was hoping for. So I'm going to head back to base, and I'll see you soon. Okay guys, so that's all we have time for today, unfortunately, but I'm gonna wrap it up by showing you all the fish I gathered today, and there's a lot. So we got 4 puffer fish, 6 perch, 19 cod, 2 gar, a goldfish, arrow turtle, fish bones, muscalung, bull tea, synodontis, biad, salmon, smallmouth bass, bluegill, brown trout, leather, and lily pad. Either way, we collected a lot. Oh, there's pillagers. Either way, we collected a lot of different types of fish, and uh, I'm really happy with that. And the plan for next episode is we're gonna do some level 30 enchanting because I'm almost to level 30 now. I'll just have to grind a little bit more off camera to get 30 levels. Then we'll end all, farm the cows, get the all the bookshelves set up over there. See that enchanting table? That's where we'll be enchanting. And um, also, I'm, my plan is to build another portal and go to the Nether because um, I want to get a start me farming some wither skeletons. Get a uh, wither skeleton skull. Oh, that's here. Let me just freaking get a wither skeleton skull as fast as I can so we can um, kill the wither wither and get this overpowered fishing thing here. Let me show you. This hook right here, Nether Star hook, otherworldly. I don't know what that means, but otherworldly sounds pretty cool to me, and I think that'll get us some pretty good gear, like possibly Neptunium. 
and then that'll be really exciting to get. And also next episode, I'm planning on getting a little bit more villager progress and uh, that's probably it. And uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, make sure to tune in for our next video. I appreciate all the support in the last video. I actually got a decent amount of people watching it and uh, commenting. So keep up. Make sure to keep leaving likes, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye.